Hello, my dear doctor. I'd like to talk a very important topic. There is the elbow syndrome. Elbow syndrome is usually inherited as an axling dominant pattern. It is due to a defect in the gene which calls for the type 4 collagen, circle the type 4, resulting in an abnormal glomerular basement membrane, that is a GBM. The disease is more severe in males with females, rarely developing the renal failure. A favorite question sometimes can be asked in your exam is an elbow syndrome with a failing renal transplant. This may be caused by the presence of anti-GBM antibodies leading to good pasta syndrome-like pictures. Elbow syndrome usually presents in childhood and the following features may be seen. There is a microscopic hematuria, progressive renal failure, bilateral sensory neural hearing loss or deafness, lenticular protrusion of the land surface into the anterior chamber. Retinitis pigmentosa, renal biopsy showed that the splitting of the lamina densa, circle the splitting, on the electron microscopy. In around the 85% cases, it is written that the star, there's the axing dominant pattern. 10 to 15 percent cases are inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion with a rare autosomal dominant variance existing. So my dear, I would like to talk on ALPO syndrome. It's a very hot topic for the exam and very good discussion, very interesting as well. Let's talk about that. So Alpo syndrome, once again, I'd like to talk. I have given the name of the Alpo syndrome. Alpo, all right, Alpo syndrome. I have given the name of the Alpo syndrome with an airport syndrome, all right. So airport syndrome, if I'm saying that the airport, so that will be the port of entry and of course sometimes, yes, the port of exit as well. But whenever you talk about the L port, so we can understand the AR port means the port of entry. And we have the port of entry means the glomerular basement membrane disease, we can understand. So what I'm saying, AR port means the glomerular basement membrane disease. So let's talk glomerular basement membrane problem. So what the problem happened in a glomerular basement membrane? So glomerular basement membrane in a gross structure or electron microscopy that we have seen that the glomerular basement membrane become thin, will write and split. Glomerular basement membrane will be thin and split. That is the main problem. And feel that in an ER port, ER port syndrome, ER port having a slit, so definitely something bad things will come into your country. Yes. And that leads to the lots of problem. So we have once again the thin and split, the important talk that we need to remember glomerular basement membrane. So why this thin and split? The glomerular basement membrane basically, these are made of the type, different type of the collagen, but the defect in the elbow syndrome is the type 4, L port 4, all right? So where's the type 4 collagen? We can write the type 4 collagen. The defect, the main defect in the AR port or L port syndrome is the type 4 collagen. But this type 4 collagen is also made up alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4, alpha 5, and alpha 6 chain. A long list of chains are made making this type 4 collagen. But the most common disease happen 
that we call that axial D means axling dominant disease and 80 to 85 percent disease inherited as an axling dominant disease and that happen usually the alpha 5. Forget all alpha 5 channel the type 4 collagen and we can written call that will be helpful all right type 4 so 4 and then alpha 5 alpha 5 so we are writing the way that this is the genetic defects of axing dominant disease and other 10 to 15 percent cases can be autosomal dominant can be autosomal recessive that's really important yes and that can be usually defect of the other chains just write down the others other chain defects so we now understood basically what happened and why happening the genetic defects in the collagen type 4 that's really important. So yes, once again, the ER put syndrome is a port of entry, glomerular basement membrane, thin and split. Why this thin and split? Because of the defect in the collagen type 4, specifically alpha 5 chain of type 4 collagen. So what happened if there is a thin and split, my dear? If the thin and split in glomerular basement membrane, definitely the RBC all right, the RBC will, will, will definitely come out. So that's called hematuria. And maybe plus minus with proteinuria. But mainly the hematuria. And progressive hematuria or proteinuria leading to CKD chronic kidney disease and this chronic kidney disease may turn into the end stage renal disease or failure then maybe we need to the renal replacement therapy and because of the younger patients maybe the renal transplant and these renal transplant on top of renal transplant patients sometimes can develop anti zbm antibody syndrome like presentation or this is called the good pasta syndrome like presentation in adrenal transplant so once again what i'm saying yes let's talk the elpo syndrome starts with that there is the ar port syndrome remember this one yeah, but means right the problem with the port of anterior glomerular basement membrane thin and split. Why this happened? Because they actually defect in type 4 collagen. Alpha 5 of type 4. That leads to the thin and split. Thin and split lead to the hematuria, plus minus proteinuria, leading to sickery, chronic kidney disease, leading to anesthesia around disease, renal transplant. And in a renal transplant, you see. The GPS-like syndrome is a very hot topic. Why it is happening? Why? Question. Look at me, my dear. You can understand now. Feel it. Feel that I had the alpha syndrome. So my kidney already damaged. End stage renal disease. Kidney damaged. So a new kidney is given. So this is called the renal transplant. So now once again feel I'm in L post syndrome patient. I have the defect glomerular basement membrane in my damaged kidney, means my in my kidney since my birth. So because of this defect basement membrane since birth. So in my blood, there will be an anti-GBM antibody already present. This anti-GBM antibody will not damage to my own kidney. 
as I'll pursue the passion I am. So once again, if I'm a passion elbow syndrome, so I will have an anti-GBN antibody already in the blood because of the defective GBM. Now talk, my kidney is damaged. I have got a new kidney, all right? New healthy GBM. Already in my blood having anti-GBM antibody against my defective GBM, that will not recognize the new kidney DBM, cross-react, causing this anti-GBM antibody syndrome that we call the good pastor syndrome-like syndrome. That happens onto the renal transplant. Yes, that is one of the most important reasons, right? That we need to remember, we can understand. So once again, the ALPO syndrome is an airport. Airport means the glomerular-based membrane. What happened there? Thin and split. Why is this happening? Because of genetic defects. Genetic is axillary. Axillary, why is it happening? Type 4 collagen. All right. Specifically, alpha-5 chain of the type 4 collagen. What will be happening? Thin and split. And thin and split leading to the hematuri RBC will come out. Proteinuria, CKD, end stage renal disease, renal transplant. On the top of the renal transplant, because of the pre existing anti ZBM antibody that will cross check with the new ZBM glomerular basement membrane of the renal transplant, causing this anti ZBM antibody syndrome. Means anti ZBM antibody syndrome means the acute renal failure. Yes, and that is like a rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis. So that's really important, my dear. Next talk is because I said it. The ALPO syndrome is an airport syndrome. So in an airport, if you live in the airport site, or maybe in the airport, so you see that you have to listen to lots of sound pollution so it may lead to the sensory neural hearing loss and that will be happened bilateral just for remembering i'm saying yes the bilateral sensory hearing loss and number three of course what will be the eyes if you see the lots of aircraft so your eyes will come forward yes the lenticonus we can say lenticonus all right and also because of the loss of aircrafts in the sunny day if you see in the airport, so there is a chance of pigmentation. So just remember the retinitis, pigmentosa. Means the eye pictures in lenticulas and in the yar. All right. So in a yar, in an eye, and in a kidneys. All right. So these are the features so that we can remember, my dear. So these are box. Very important box, right? Once again, that is the Yalpo syndrome, Yalpo syndrome. So why is happening the sensory neural hearing loss? Definitely, maybe the collagen type 4 collagen is present in the ear, so that's why the sensory hearing loss in the eyes, the lenticulars, and also the retina is pigmentosa, type 4 collagen. So yes, the important features that we already talked, there is a Alport syndrome means the airport syndrome. Port syndrome type 4 must remember. What is the defect? Glomerular basement because they are port basement membrane. So yes, thin and split. Why? Because of alpha 5, axial D. 80 to 85 percent cases. Other cases mean other tens of the type 4 collagen. So thin and split leading to hematuria, proteinuria, CKD, ESRD, renal transplant, and pre-existing anti-ZBM antibody will cross check the new ZBM of renal transplant causing the anti-ZBM antibody syndrome. We have the RPG and type of presentation with acute renal failure. And bilateral sensory hearing loss, lenticulars, and retinitis pigmentosa are the important features of l syndrome. Sometimes you are saying, right, very important talk, right? 
even young boy or young man come up young man right in the airport <laughs> right if you see the bilateral hearing aids all right maybe you will be confused hearing aids with the young man all right listening song yes in the airport so we can must remember this is nothing but the uh, Yes, Alpo syndrome, Alpo syndrome. Yes, we can write it. So yes, once again, the young man with the bilateral hearing aids, once again, the diagnosis, the Alpo syndrome is a like the diagnosis for your whole life, my dear. So I hope that the summary talk is that Alpo syndrome is an ER port syndrome. And you enjoy it. Thank you, thank you very much, my dear.